5. Editing a document in Word. Making changes to a document is called editing. Editing refers to correcting, rearranging, revising or changing the text. The literal meaning of the word edit is to prepare the written matter for publication. Need for editing a document. When creating a document, suppose a short story, we first write the content. Later, the document may need editing to get the right flow and meaning. The figure below shows a document having the text of a story. In the figure, the moral of the story is placed at the beginning. Generally, the moral should occur at the end of a story. How will you get the moral at the end of the story? You can use the cut paste commands. Using the cut, copy and paste commands. While editing a document, you may find that some content needs shuffling and some content needs to be repeated for consistency. To edit a document efficiently, there are three main commands. Cut, copy and paste. The table below lists the use of the cut, copy and paste commands. Command Icon Use Cut To remove the selected text or graphic content and place it on the clipboard. Copy To copy the selected text or graphic content to the clipboard, the original text that is copied remains unchanged. Paste To insert the content of the clipboard, at the insertion point. This command is available only if you have cut or copied some contents. Clipboard Windows provides a temporary storage area called the clipboard. The text that is selected for the cut or copy commands is temporarily placed in the clipboard. On clicking the paste command, the content of the clipboard is inserted at the insertion point. The cut, copy and paste commands are not very useful individually. These commands should be used in combination as follows. Cut paste commands to move the selected text from one place to another. Copy paste commands to create multiple copies of selected text instead of retapping. The copy command thus creates multiple copies of the same text while the original text remains unchanged. On the other hand, the cut command removes the original text from its place and moves it to a new location in the document. Using cut paste commands. To move text from one place in the document to another. 1. Select the text that is to be moved. In this case, the moral. 2. Click the home tab. 3. Select the cut command in the clipboard group. Observe that the selected text is not visible. 4. Move the cursor to the place where you want to paste the text. 5. Click the Home tab. 6. Select the Paste command in the clipboard group. Notice that the text that was cut is moved to the new location as shown adjacent. Using copy paste commands. Sometimes there are certain words, phrases, or sentences that occur repeatedly in a document. For example, chorus of a song or the name of the characters in a drama. Instead of typing them repeatedly, you can use the copy paste feature to copy the text.
to copy the text. 1. Select the text that is to be copied. 2. Click the Home tab. 3. Select the copy command in the clipboard group. Notice that the selected text remains unchanged. 4. Move the cursor to the place where you want to copy the text. 5. Click the Home tab. 6. Select the paste command in the clipboard group. Observe that the text copied is pasted. Auto text. Cut and copy both store information on the clipboard. Information stored on the clipboard may be eventually lost. If you want to store information permanently for reuse, use auto text. Create auto text. 1. Select the text you want to store permanently. 2. Choose the Insert tab. 3. Click Quick Parts in the text group. A menu appears. 4. Click Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. The Create New Building Block dialog box appears. 5. MS Word suggests a name. Change the name by typing AT in the name field. Click OK. The dialog box closes. If you want to read the text stored in auto text, press the space bar to leave a blank space in a document. Type the name of your document, AT, and press F3. You should now be able to read the text. Inserting text. Many a times, we miss out words while typing. When editing such a document, we need to insert the words that are missed out. Before inserting text in a document, we need to be sure that we are working in the insert mode. To insert text in a document, click the place where you want to insert to get the insertion point and then type the text. Notice that the text will be inserted as MS Word by default runs in the insert mode. There are two modes in which we enter text in a document. Insert mode. 1. Right click on the status bar. The customized status bar menu appears. 2. Click over type. The insert or overtype button appears on the status bar. 3. If the word insert appears on the status bar, you are in insert mode. Overtype mode. Text that you type replaces the existing text. Click insert on the status bar. The word insert changes to overtype. You can type over the current text in the overtype mode. To toggle between the overtype and the insert mode, click overtype on the status bar. Hint, you can overtype text without changing to overtype mode. To do this, select the text you want to overtype and then type. Deleting text. While editing documents, we may want to remove unwanted or repeated text. To delete text from a document, use the delete key to delete the characters to the immediate right. Use the backspace key to delete the characters to the immediate left. Select the block text to be deleted and press the delete or the backspace key on the keyboard. Using the undo and redo commands. 
Consider a situation where you want to delete a sentence but by mistake you deleted another important sentence. Or you had to move a sentence but you ended up moving some other sentence. You need not worry as MS Word enables you to reverse the last action. To reverse the last action, click the undo button on the quick access toolbar. The last action will be reversed. If the last action was deletion of text, the deletion is undone and the text is restored back in its place. Again after undoing, if you change your mind that the deletion was necessary, then click the redo button on the quick access toolbar. To customize undo and redo buttons, 1. Click the down arrow on the quick access toolbar. 2. The customize quick access toolbar menu appears. 3. Click undo and redo buttons. Tick marks appear before them and are now visible on the quick access toolbar. 4. To hide them, click on them again. We can undo or redo multiple actions by clicking the arrow next to the respective command and click the actions that you want to undo or redo. Using the find and replace commands. Searching for a particular word in a document can be a tiresome job and when you find it, you may want to review it or replace it with another word. MS Word provides a facility to search for a particular content in a document for review or to change it. To find a particular word or phrase in the document. 1. Click the Home tab. 2. Click the Find command in the Editing group. The Find and Replace dialog box appears as shown adjacent. 3. Type the text that needs to be found in the document. 4. Click on the Find Next button. If the word exists in the document, the word is highlighted in the document. 5. Again click the Find Next button to find another occurrence of the text. You can also find text and replace it with some other text. To find and replace the word. 1. Click the Home tab. 2. Select the Replace command in the Editing group. The Replace tab of the Find and Replace dialog box is displayed. 3. Type the word to find in the Find What text box and the word that is to be placed in the place of the previous word in the Replace with text box. The adjacent figure shows the replace tab of the find and replace dialog box. 4. Click the replace button. The previous word will be replaced with the new word. 5. Suppose if you want to replace the word in the entire document wherever it exists, you can click the replace all button. Using the go to command when working on a multiple page document, it becomes very tiresome to scroll to say page 50. When you are currently on page 38, scrolling through the document using the arrow keys or the page up, page down keys or even using the scroll bar is quite time consuming. The go to command is very useful to navigate to a line, page section or a graphic. To navigate using the go to feature. 1. Click the home tab. 2. 
select the go to tab in the find command of the editing group the go to tab of the find and replace dialog box is displayed as shown at jsl 3 enter the page number to which you want to move to 4 click the go to button 5 the cursor jumps to the beginning of the page number specified Similarly, in the go to what list box, you can specify whether you want to go to a section, line, footnote, etc. Checking spellings and grammar. While entering text in a document in MS Word, you will notice that some words are underlined with wavy red or green lines. The spelling and grammar check utility compares each word in the document to the correctly spelled words in dictionaries. If any word in the document is not found in the dictionary, the spell check features underlines that word in red. If there is any grammatical error, then the sentences are underlined in green. This tool also gives probable suggestions to correct the spelling or grammatical error. The spelling and grammar check is a flexible tool that automates the task of proofreading. To run the spell and grammar check, 1. Click the review tab. 2. Select the spelling and grammar command in the proofing group. The spelling and grammar dialog box appears as shown at JSON. 3. If the word highlighted in the not in dictionary text box 1. is correct, then you can click the ignore button. Ignore all button to ignore all occurrences of that word or add button to add it to the dictionary. 2. is incorrect. Then you can click on any of the correct words in the suggestions list and click the change or change all button to correct the spelling error. 4. The next spelling or grammar error is displayed in the not in dictionary text box. In the case of a grammatical error, you can take any of the following actions. 1. Click the ignore button to ignore the suggestion. 2. Click the next sentence button to move to the next error. 3. Click the ignore rule button to ignore the current type of grammatical error throughout the document. 4. Click the change button to accept the suggestion. Using autocorrect for instant editing. The autocorrect feature of MS Word Correct the frequent typing errors automatically. For example, when you type NAD, then press the space bar, it automatically corrects it to AND. There are many entries in the autocorrect feature, thus correcting the common typing errors. You can extend its functionality by adding autocorrect entries of your frequent typing errors for automatic correction. To build our own autocorrect entries. 1. Click the Microsoft Office button. 2. Select Word Options in the menu and a Word Options window opens. 3. Click the Proofing option on the left pane of the window. You will get the options present in the Proofing option on the right pane. 4. Select the Autocorrect Options tab. The Autocorrect dialog box appears as shown adjacent. 5. In the Replace text box, type the text to be replaced. For example, Gradon. 6. In the With text box, type the text to be substituted. For example, Garden. 7. Click the Add button. 8. Click the OK button.
enhancing documents with thesaurus. MS Word includes a thesaurus to help you with English vocabulary. The thesaurus in Word helps you to vary your vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms, similar meaning words, and antonyms, opposite meaning words. You can select the most useful and right words to improve the language of your document. To access the thesaurus, 1. Select a word from the document for which you want a synonym, say plenty. 2. Click the review tab. 3. Select the thesaurus from the proofing group. The thesaurus dialog box appears right side of your current document as shown adjacent. 4. Choose a suitable synonym from the list box by clicking on it. 5. Click the insert option from the down arrow of the selected word. 6. The word plenty is replaced by the word you chose. Shortcuts for editing documents Icon Keyboard shortcut Function Ctrl plus Z to undo or reverse the last action. Ctrl plus Y to redo or repeat the last action. Ctrl plus X to cut the selected text. Ctrl plus C to copy the selected text. Ctrl plus V to paste. F7 to check for spelling and grammatical errors. Exercise 